Hello and welcome back to another video. So today I have a few bits uh, going on. So I've just moved the two cows and the calf. Um, I'm filling up the water there so she's curious as to what's going on. Um, the calf is still stone wild. Um, I hadn't seen it in a day and a half because that cow is so good at hiding it in the field they came out of. But I've just moved them here right in front of my house just for two days I'd say is all I'll get out of it but it's only a small patch um, that my pony used to feed for us so since she passed away in December it hasn't been fed down so we said we get them in here just to give it a feeding and it'll be good for it um, so that's them done I'm going to top the field they came out of so I'm going to show you what the plan is for there um, in terms of topping it and then leaving some of it a bit more natural and then the latter part of this video, I'm going to leave it until the day I do the fertilizer. So we're due rain in about three days. Um, so we're going to wait for it to rain. Then we're going to put the fertilizer out and it's expected to rain again the following day. So that's the plan. We don't want to spread fertilizer on the ground because it is just so dry at the moment. We'd be worried if there was very heavy showers that it would just run right off the ground and we'd lose all the goodness. So that's the plan anyway, and that's the plan for this video. So I'll bring you along with me anyway. Now I've the topper on ready to go there, but I just wanted to show people what I have the topper on to make my life a bit easier. So basically I have four posts down. I have them at different um, lengths, as you can see, just so that it fits fully across the topper. And it just means then when I'm trying to fit it, I can roll it forwards or backwards really, really easily. Um, and it just helps it go on really quick. Um, there, it took me no time at all because I greased the PTO before I brought it up. And then the one side went on perfectly. I'm very happy with how I lined it up. And then the second side just needed a bit of a roll on the post and it was in. So it was actually a matter of minutes and it was on. So um, really, really made my life a lot easier. I'm pretty sure it was TikTok. Somebody gave me that idea because they saw one of my videos. I was doing a video on how much I was struggling with putting on the topper and they suggested doing that. And it's just such a simple solution, but it has worked wonders for me. So um, if anybody is struggling to put on the topper, I'd highly recommend that. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. It's about half six in the evening now. The heat is killing me today, whatever it is. Um, so I was toying with whether I do it or not, but I'm just going to do it. If it's too much, I can stop and finish it off tomorrow, but we'll give it a shot anyway. so that's this place so as you can see it's a bit rough it's hasn't gotten much TLC over the years so um, I'm going to try and give it a bit of that now but um, so what I'm doing is all these rushes down here they'll all hopefully go as long as I don't sink look I'm not going to get the ground in here any drier than it is right now so this is my time to do it so I'm going to try and get all those strong rushes I'll go down as far into the bottom as I can, but it is so dense down there. I'll just have to go in a low gear down there and see how the tractor gets on. If it's struggling too much, I'll leave it because to be honest, there isn't much grass going to come up through the amount of rushes that are down there anyway. It's just more because I think it'll look nicer if I get rid of them. Then over here, you can probably see some briars. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of them, but I'm going to leave some because the neighbor's goat spends a lot of time in here. And I'm going to leave those for her to work away on. Um, she's just a rescue goat. Um, so look, she keeps this place tidy when there's no animals in here. But as for the nettles and the rushes, they're going. My thoughts now are, well, it's going to be a little experiment. I'm going to see how much the goat will eat. I'm thinking she should eat the young rushes once they're cut. So I'm going to see if she does that. She'll definitely eat the few briars and stuff over there, that's fine. But it'll be interesting to see if she can keep on top of, not the dense stuff, but the bits and pieces here, you know, behind me. 
once they're young will she be able to just pick away at them and keep on top of them so I'm going to keep an eye on that for the next couple of months and see how it goes but yeah that's the plan for here anyway I'll uh, show you when I'm done It's a couple of days since I topped this field um, but I just didn't get a chance to record so I have my buddy here behind me up on the ditch um, so this is where I'm going to start the experiment so I'm hoping that well the experiment has started really badly because <laughs> what I wanted her to do was feed the briars that I have just along the ditch there so my plan was I'll just leave a couple there. I took most of them, just left a few there so that she could pick away at those. And then by the time she was done with those, I thought the rushes would be coming just enough so that they're nice and young and she'd nip away at them then. She has not touched the briars there and she is up on the ditch. Um, so yeah, it's not going great. I might ask the neighbour if he can um, shorten her rope. I don't want to do it myself. Um, 
if he could shorten the rope a bit so that she's kind of forced to eat those because all she's doing is eating the briars off the ditch instead of the briars on the ground um so it'll be interesting to see look if i don't now i'll always need to top it anyway but if she can stay on top of some of them and it means that more grass will come up between them then that's great i'd probably need another 20 goats realistically um just to to keep on top of the rushes here i don't even know if uh, goats eat rushes to be honest i know very little about them only that they love briars or that one loves briars anyway um yeah so i'm just seeing i'm just going to see what it's like it was a rough job and to be honest it looks like a rough job to be honest it's not great at all but it's a massive improvement on what it was so it'll be great in here now is exactly where i would like a chain harrow see i've already changed my mind again i think i want a chain harrow now instead of a roller again because there's lots of dead grass there but look um much cleaner uh we also have a bit of rain sorry if it's windy it's obviously windy but hopefully you can't pick it up too much um so we have some rain which is good it's not great because i'm moving cattle now so i will probably get a little bit wet but um it just means i'm off tomorrow so if this light rain continues it's perfect the ground will be some bit damp hopefully tomorrow and i'll get the fertilizer out and then there's showers forecast for the weekend so it's ideal weather and um, temperatures still to be in the low 20s place should fly there should be grass everywhere is the plan so um yeah that's this now um i'm gonna move the cows you're sick of seeing me move cows i'd say at this stage it's only the two cows again with the calf um so i won't bother showing that but i'll come back tomorrow for the fertilizer anyway show you what i'm using how much i'm using and all that jazz you can see there not a great job down there but i honestly don't know how the 135 went through them i was thinking at one stage is it worth it you know am i going to to bust the tractor doing this because it was just such heavy rushes but certainly a hell of a lot better than what it was anyway but um yeah look we'll pick up tomorrow morning anyway alma there's some lovely briars down here Are you stuck? She's stuck. Now I'm back out fairly early this morning. I was woken up by rain on the roof, which I was absolutely delighted about. I uh, called into my 91 year old grandmother uh, last night after moving the cattle. She's so with it, she's unreal, and she's just living just pretty much next door to me. So um, I called in just to give her an update on the cattle. And I was telling her my wish list for the weather forecast. So I was saying I wanted rain overnight, which I got. I wanted rain this morning, which I got. I said I want a couple of dry hours then so I can get the fertilizer out, which I seem to be getting. And I said I just want rain then in the evening or sometime later on that day uh, to, to wash it in. And she was laughing at me saying she thinks it stays so fine for me. But... I somehow got it. So um, the rain overnight and this morning wasn't forecast at all. There are showers forecast for later on. So I'm assuming I will actually get that rain. So it couldn't have worked out any better, to be honest. I'm absolutely delighted. So I said I'd get on it, um, you know, uh, have it done grand and early and get things moving if I can. So I'm going to throw on the spreader here now. I'm going to go and have breakfast then and hopefully the rain doesn't come back while I'm doing that. But I have a good bit of uh, manoeuvring to be doing. So I want to have something to eat before I start doing that. And um, yeah, I'll go through then what I've got. I have the gator here. I went down and got it because there's seven bags in that. And then I have seven bags piled up here as well beside me. Um, so look, I only have half the lifting. So that's something. Um, but yeah, I'll get into what we have and what we're spreading, how much we're spreading and all that once I'm back. Now, before I get stuck in here now, I just want to warn people about the scammers on my accounts. 
they will not leave me alone these past few weeks between Instagram and YouTube. Um, Instagram, I have a fake account up of me every few days at the moment. Um, what they're doing is just taking my photos, pretending to be me, messaging people then. And I assume the main goal is to try and get them to click on links or send them money or whatever. And then on YouTube, it's this Telegram, text me on Telegram or something like that. Um, anytime I'm, I see it or I'm made aware of it, I'm deleting them, blocking them, all of that. But there are times when I could be working and then come home to the farm. So I might be checking my phone for 10, 12 hours. And in that time, damage could be done. So look, just please be very careful. If it seems strange, it probably is strange. Um, I never message anybody um, sending them links to anything or absolutely not. I just don't do it. Um, I'd have no reason to do it. Um, my my pages are there if anybody wants it. I put up a link to my YouTube on my story and that is it. Um, so, and I most certainly will never ask anybody for money. Um, despite my setup, I do not need money from anyone. Um, but yeah, I'm just really concerned that people will um, get caught out by these people because I've had a few people saying oh I got a message from you I can't see it now and things like that and I feel so guilty then because I don't want them you know I don't want it to be my fault that they they get caught out by these scams but they don't use my name it's not Karen Moynihan or it's not like Karen Dot Moynihan or a number at the end or whatever it's text me on telegram or something like that is the name it's just my photo so just be wary of that. And then on Instagram, look, if it's not my main account, it's not me. I do not have a second account, a private account, all of these. I will not message you off any of those accounts. I will always reply to people who send me messages where I can, and that is it. Look, they are very serious. They can cost people an awful lot of money, so just please be careful. And that's it. I'll get on with this now. Now I'm ready to go with my first load here. So what we've gone with this year, I've never used it before. I'd say dad hasn't either, but it's the Cut Pasture Plus. So we were going to go with Pasture Sword. And when we pulled into the co-op, my dad saw this stuff and got a an notion and said, you know what, we'll try that um, and see how we get on. So we got 14 bags of it, cost 381 euro. So Decent price. Um, fertilizer has definitely come down a lot, but this also has a little bit less of everything in it. So, you know, if you're talking about your can or whatever, you've got 27 units of nitrogen. Um, this one has 22. You've got two P's, six K's then, and uh, you've got, I think, 3% sulfur it is. But um, yeah, my dad thinks the sulfur will be the right job in it. So, we said we'd go with it, we chance it. So as I said, we got 14 bags. I have four and a half bags in here now for the first field. And I'm going to just do it the same as I did earlier in the year. I'll just take what I need for each field because the shed here is just down from that field. So it just lets me keep an eye on it more so that I'm not at the last field with nothing left. Um, but yeah, so we're doing two bags to the acre. Um, Look, you're talking about, what, 55 units of nitrogen then, um, which is a little bit lighter, but I don't know. My dad seems to think it will be enough anyway. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Look, these weather conditions are absolutely perfect for grass growing anyway. So I'm hoping it just needs a good nudge in the right direction now, but great to, to be getting it out. <laughs>
now I'm just going to finish this video off today. So I have my protected urea in there. I have five bags of it and I have two fields to do. I have another bag inside then to put out in another small field when the cows go out of there. But for now I'm hoping the five bags should be plenty to do the two places that I'm I'm looking to do and again it's just a dusting that's all I'm putting out on the grazing ground um, but it should kickstart things real real change now today really cloudy was very wet this morning so look but as you can see I'm in a t-shirt again um, because it is so dead uh, the heat today so this is all ideal, as my dad would say, it's a growthy day um, and it is. So we'll get this spread and that'll be my fertilizer done for a while anyway. So this was one of the fields that I was doing so I had it topped previously but in this one everything was going well but just look as I turn the corner here I completely missed a section so thankfully I checked the video before I left and I was able to spread just right down there so then. I'm going off script a little bit um, I'm down here past where the cows are you can see them in the background um, and we have just this square patch in here and they've it well fed for the first time in a long time because this was left unfenced completely um, for years. So we tended not to put any cattle in here and it just went wild. But between them feeding it down now and topping it last year and earlier this year, um, it seems to be tastier stuff for them. So I'm going to spread some of the protected urea in here, um, obviously. I can't have the cattle in here because this is poisonous um, to the cattle. So all I'm going to do is move them up to my top section, the part that I, I separated, and I'll close that wire. We used to have two strands of barbed wire across here, but they seem to, to be gone. So what I'll do is I'll go up and I'll just get a bit of wire so that I can fence this section off and then I'll un unhook above because they need to get back down here for the water in the field there behind me. So again, just very handy that the place is properly fenced now so that I can do that because otherwise I just wouldn't want to be spreading it when they'd be around. So I'm gonna do that now, move them up and I'd say they'll be happy enough because it's getting tight enough there anyway. I was, I was going to move them this evening anyway, but um, yeah, we'll do that next. I was happy out there driving along spreading my fertilizer and next thing bang and I looked back and the spreader had fallen backwards basically the clip came out of the pin that was holding the, the top link and so eventually the pin just 
fell out because the ground is so bumpy there. I hit one bad bump, thing came out, top link gone. So obviously the spreader fell backwards. Now I did lose a bit of fertilizer over the top, but I've kicked it around so it should be fine. And of course it will come off in the middle of the kind of rushy part. Um, but look, hopefully it won't burn the grass now. But Jesus, that could have been a lot worse. I was worried that it would um, break the wagtail on it, but thankfully it didn't. Um, but yeah, there's always something, something strange happening to me anyway. But um, look, that's, that's the fertilizer done there anyway. So I put out five bags and I checked my app there to see roughly what it is. And I'd say it's just under five acres. So you're roughly a bag to the acre, which to be honest, is definitely more than what my dad would have wanted me to put out but look he's not around I had to make an executive decision <laughs> and I do think for the sake of 40 odd euro uh, while we have this perfect weather now I just think it's probably the right thing to do um, just in case we don't get it like this again so I'm going to, to go with my decision anyway I think it's the right thing to do take a bit of pressure off us and as I said he'd tell me probably to put out four bags I put out five bags there's probably 40 45 euro in the difference so you know I know margins are small and usually if I was talking about that I'd be like oh we need to make every penny but I think when it comes to grass and just not being under pressure you know um, and just having that peace of mind that's that's worth 40 euro any day and look we didn't have to call the vet out to get that calf out last week so um, that would have cost a hell of a lot more than 40 euro as well so you know I'm just reinvesting that's all um, but yeah so that's it I'm gonna go up now and get the gator um, and put the wire up here and you know another good thing about here as well we had a gap there and it was just an old iron gate in there that you couldn't open you'd have to drag it open and it was completely overgrown so we put in a proper gate there now as well and it's just handy because I don't need to go up and disturb the cattle open the gate close it behind me come back down open and close I can just pop out the side here um, and get the gator and I'm not bothering them until I open up the gap again when I'm done so it's all these small improvements and I suppose when you don't have them you don't really think about them you know that's something so simple there but it just means it just makes my life that little bit easier this evening you know especially when I've been working today and stuff it's just those small little things if I have to hop off the tractor once or twice less um, it's worth it but um, yeah I'm gonna put the tractor back thankfully everything is in one piece I did not want to have to be explaining that to my dad but it's just one of those things sometimes those clips do pop off I'll probably find it in a year's time maybe uh, if I'm lucky but thankfully I had one in my jacket pocket which is in the the tractor um, I just carry a few bits with me always because you know now if I hadn't I would have had to leave that there walk the whole way up go get it walk the whole way back down so I must go and put a replacement one in now as well but um, yeah I'll head off and get the few bits to do this bit of fencing now. I must admit I kind of copped out there because 
I was going to do two strands of barbed wire but when I went up it was buried in the back of the shed and it's a full reel so really heavy and I just said I can't be bringing that on myself now at this hour of the evening so I just went with the electric string or whatever you call it instead um, but look it'll do the job anyway I could put power to it if I wanted to but the fact that I've given them the fresh grass up there, there's no fresh grass in there, I know they're not even going to be interested in it. They probably wouldn't even go in there if I didn't block it off, but you know now just for peace of mind and to be on the safe side, you'd have to, you'd have to block it off. But it's doing the job, I just have it hooked onto the insulators on both sides, so if I do need to open it, I'll just unhook it and it'll be grand and as well if I do want to electrify it at some stage I can do that as well so that'll keep them out of there I'll probably leave it like that even when they come into where I am now next time and just give that the extra week or whatever um, to come on but it got a nice shake of fertilizer there anyway so that should do it good but um that's it from me. Um, I'm going to leave it there for this evening. I'm off work for five days now next week. I just have to go in for two days. I have a few days coming to me. So I said I'd take them. It's a good time of year to take them um, and get a few bits done on the farm. So hopefully now I'll have a few different bits and pieces for you um, in the, the coming video or even videos maybe depending on how productive I am on those days off but yeah as I said earlier anyway if you have any questions about the fertilizer or anything um, do let me know I think I've answered most of them anyway fairly straightforward stuff here as always but um, yeah anyway thank you for watching again uh, if you liked it give me a like and if you haven't already done so please subscribe thank you <laughs>